Hello, my Scorpios. How are you doing? Um, welcome to your reading. And um, happy Scorpio season. Get ready to start our Scorpio season. And if you're on the um, on the other side of the world, uh, the east side of the world, uh, you have already started your Scorpio season. So welcome to Scorpio season. Yay! So hopefully it'll be a good season for us. And so this is for Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. So Scorpios, let me know in the comments how you're doing and how's everything going in your world. And let's see if this is a read, keeping our energy, okay? So I need you to really, at this moment, you see this read, to have open mind and to focus on the reading for what is best for you. All right, so Scorpio, so, so let's get into our reading here. And um, so let's get started. Oh, that's too many. So we're looking for that main energy, okay? The one that's talking about Scorpio. So angel, guys, and spirits, sun, moon, Venus, and rising for Scorpio. There we go, Scorpio. There you go. Look at that. Four of Cups. So that's going to be your overall energy for the whole read. And so let's go take it further for our, our potential past experience. That's going to help us understand the current and the future of what we need to do and asking questions. So uh, let's get through it. All right, you have the Temperance card here. This is the feeling out with the old and in with the new feeling that I'm feeling. So let me know. Oh, King of Cups. What was I saying? There's somebody new going to be popping up in your life here? Or there's somebody from the past? So let's look at that. But this is a balance between something you had. Okay, so the overall and the bottom of the energies are the healing card of the Four of Swords. And behind that is the strength card again. And following that was the happy cups. So let's look at the happy cups. I call it ten of cups. And there's a lover's card. But we're not going to kind of keep going into that. And then we'll just read more to it. So this is the energy that's coming from this side of the deck. And I'll put those back and see if they show up again. So the four of cups, the temperance card, king of cups, and the five of swords. Hmm. Scorpio, there's somebody here that, and I'm just going to go ahead and say it, so in okay, case so the devil card comes out, but there's somebody here really heavily that is, um, feels, they have a lot of regrets here. Uh, they do have a, they know they have hurt you with the Five of Swords, they have stabbed you in the back many times and left you broken and hurt. Um, but they're trying to find a way and you know you're rejecting them they see that you're rejecting them and possibly they think you got somebody new and but they're trying to to make this right and i don't mean so much in a it's talking about forgiveness and it's talking about balancing things out with the temperance here to do the balancing to find some kind of level of peace at for this situation now this could be coming from your energy or theirs so when I look at here, the healing card, the, and with that regret card here, the rejection feeling, they feel rejected by you, or this could be them, you know, if you're a cross-watcher, but um, you have the four swords with the strength card, and you have the ten of cups. And what is here, Scorpios, there's a person here that's coming in, the energy, and they are still broken over you're not willing to take them back. And this has left them very, um, I don't think this is your energy. I feel like this is their energy with the King of Cups. I feel like this is their energy where they once had a lot of happiness with you and they had a, you had a lot of love for them and sadly they messed it up. <laughs> so it could be a new Scorpio that messed it up, but I feel like it's them. And the Strength card, for you to be part of their life, and, or let me sit this way, because you have brought so much, you know, so much have went through with five swords and the four swords here, that healing process could be for both of you. But I do feel like you were part of their life. You were a big part of their life. And without you now in their life, they're feeling the, the consequences. They feel in the weak without you. And they think about you a lot here. Now, do I say take them back, Scorpio? No. Because, you know, at the time, I feel like this was a person, and that's why the lover's card here, you broke up, 
Okay, this is a breakup with a lover's card in reverse. And um, I do feel like this person is having a very sense of, they're, I almost feel like they're mad because you won't take them back. Okay, you're rejecting them. Okay, so you don't want this again and ever again in your life. And that's what I'm feeling here. There's something here that you are, you have figured out your life and you're getting better and they are not. Or they, they don't want to see you, they, they moved on without you. And then when all the fun was over or it didn't work out for whoever they ran to, they look back on their life now and feel like they see the goodness that you had for them. So let's see. Let's continue. And there's that um, King of Wands. Now this could be a new person too, but in the current energy for Scorpio, take those two. Queen of Pentacles, and this is the current energy. It's almost taking my breath to even feel this energy. But they do have a sense of regrets here. Okay, let's see what's on the There's you are, the Scorpio Death card. You have the um, Two of Pentacles and the um, Eight of Cups walking away. And there's that Nine of Happiness card there. So this is the current energy I'm feeling here, Scorpio. The King of Wands, and the King of Cups, I think, is more of your past person, but there's just somebody here, King, and this could be two people. And uh, the King of Wands is representing here that with a Queen of Pentacles. Now, remember, the Queen of Reversals can always come up in the upright right here, okay? So, this is changes that's following the King of Wands. King of Wands is about communicating. They feel like, this person feels like, and this could be somebody new. That feels like they, um, they're just waiting on an opportunity with you to have with you, okay? In the current energy, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Queen of Pentacles is not just about, um, they, I think, uh, too, that this person feels like you're not given to them anymore. So that's part of the rejection. But the King of Wands here, um, the Queen of Pentacles is saying, you know, I put all this and I'm not doing it again. I made a commitment. I'm not doing this again. And But this King of Wands here sees there's some, some, some sort of hurt that, that you're refusing to wait on or something. Okay. And there's something here with this person. And I think this is a new person. That this person is being very slow with you. and And which it can be a good thing. But also the Queen of Pentacles is saying, you know, if you don't hurry up and do something, I'm going I'm to leave this situation. So that Queen King of Wands is about making passion and making changes. And they going they need to know they got to do what they got to do to keep you, win you over. So I do think this is a new person. And whoever this is, is waiting for you. They're, they chose you over some part of their life that they're seeing that they can have a good life with you. So I do feel like this is a new person here. So confirming that or clarifying that you have the death card and the two of pentacles and the walk away card. So um, the transformation of making new changes coming with that king of wands and communication and passion. You are in this energy like, you know, sometimes you don't trust. I think it's part of intuition here, too. It's like um, a trust thing. Like, should I do this? Should I do that? And there's times that you have really, like, I feel like this person here, this new person, it sees how um, you are as far as being able to just kind of decide immediately, I'm going to change this and I'm going to be gone if you don't make this decision on me. So it's kind of like that. So if you have somebody who's trying to put you on the burner, I guess, or trying to see the changes coming, um, I do think the new person has good intentions with you. So let's see what's going on. Show me what uh, the outcome here for Scorpio. For some moon Venus now. What is the outcome for Scorpio? What is Scorpio's house? Well, let's ask this. Is Scor how is Scorpio feeling about the new person? How is Scorpio feeling about this new person? There's. Hmm, okay, let me get this. Okay. Alright, you. you it's like you're in a state of mind. What's that about? 
Scorpio. So there's the Minotaur again, but this time, this person, this is about the new person. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. All right, okay, this makes sense about the healing card I saw earlier. Um, you have the Nine of Wands, I'm not sorry, um, the Six of Wands in reverse here. Um, and you have the Moon card in reverse. You have the Eight of Cups again in the reverse. And then you have the Ten of Swords in reverse. There's something that, um, it, the reason this person here is trying to take their time with you to get to know you, they don't want you to, they, they feel like this is a part of them. They want to see through everything. They want to see everything about you. And they feel like, you know, if they don't do that, if they don't be patient with you, there's a chance that they can lose you. And they don't want to lose you. Okay, it's so right here. They don't want to lose you. They don't want you walking away when before you felt like you wanted to. So there's something here about a victorious energy that they really are trying to hang on to you to be successful with you. But there's no tricks here, Scorpio, with this new person. I do feel like this person right here is really trying to stay with you, like to find out about you and you know do it the right way, because they're not going to betray you, whoever this is. So the Knight of um, the Knight of Pentacles, so he's coming in there. Like I said, he was very slow, right, moving slow with you, and he's going to make this offer to you. Now the King of Pentacles and the Justice card in reverse. You, you know, there's something that sometimes scares you with a king you know you have the queen of pentacles so this person's thinking like you they're on your level of thinking they want to come make an offer to you but they're trying to see what you're all about or you're trying to see what they're all about but both of you scorpio is whoever this person in your future or you're dealing with that you don't even know about this person yet they could be at a distance but they're trying to you're trying to see the same thing in them as they're trying to see in you. It's like a reflection because both of you are in the reverse, okay? So it's just a matter of matching up with your energy. And and there's part of both of you are seeing the justice card in reverse. So it feels like, you know, I don't want to be dealing with nobody who's going to lie to me. I'm not going to be dealing with someone who's manipulate me. But they see this, Scorpio. They, that's why they're trying to work with you. Yeah, so let's see. All right, so for Scorpio's outcome, while well, that came out, Ooh, Queen of Nine of Pentacles. All right, so yeah, this is definitely, I think, Nine of Pentacles. Could be a spiritual feeling, too. There's that Six of Wands again in reverse. Scorpio, why do you feel like this is not going to be successful? This person makes you nervous. But they're coming after you. Oh, wow. Okay, Page of Swords in verse, And the Two of Wands. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to take those cards there. But I'm going to put this here to confirm things. Yeah, the Tower card and the King of Pentacles. Oh, my goodness. King of Swords, too. All right. So, you're very independent, okay? And this person, too, feels like they can see that you're independent. You're doing your own thing. But they haven't won you over, right? They have not. This person has is trying to win you over. Whoever this is that's coming after this horrible, bad relationship, this is why you need to be open to the possibilities. Um, you, you feel like, you know, they can't, you know, you're actually probably telling this person, you can't win me, you can't win me, you know, you might as well give up. But this person, no, Scorpio, I'm just telling you right now, this is a spiritual kind of thing I'm feeling. Um, you've been through a lot of things with the Nine of Pentacles. It wasn't easy for you. And you feel like, you know, you're, you're not going to be able to let nobody hurt you again. But this person's really trying to understand you well. Um, you know, they're coming after you. They're going to they're gonna try hard to win you over here. And the Page of Swords, you know, they're very mature. They're not this immature page that you had last time, whoever this is. The Two of Wands is saying, you know, you're not sure. <laughs> basically you're not sure about the decisions because this tower moment but this is a good tower moment there's going to be some disagreements for you with a new person there's going to be moments you're going to want to feel to walk away you're going to be like no you can't win me I'm out of here you, you got on my nerves I'm out of here and they pay attention to these things that you're doing but they know king of pentacles the same as queen of pentacles 
and the Queen of Pentacles was in reverse. Now the King of Pentacles has now turned around. That we just saw. The King of Pentacles is holding you in their hands as a commitment. You, They will choose you, Scorpio. Just saying. They're going to ch choose you. They are watching you. They're going to protect you. They're going to love you for who you are. They adore you, actually. So this Knight of Pentacles is changing into that King of Pentacles. So male or female, it doesn't matter. But let go of the past, Scorpio. That's what I just heard. Let go of the past. And that, and you're going to be feel this energy where everything changes for you out of nowhere. But you got to be receptive to it. Do you know what I mean? you got to be able to open your heart. And time does that. And I know a lot of you are going to say, I don't want nobody. I want to stay single. I'm not in for love. Trust me. And this King of Cups that once was in your life that pulled the King of, you know, done all these things and say they love you and they really didn't, but they don't know what love is. It was just a fake attachment. This person knows someone's coming for you. And they know you might be talking to them already. So if you are Scorpio, please keep an open mind. Put yourself out there. Try. And but there's a person here that you're gonna have some kind of disagreements, and that's because you're fresh you're gonna get frustrated and you're gonna feel some kind of push and pull kind of energy. But this person right here is, adores you. And they just want you to let go of the past because they think they have such a great thing with you. If only you let go of the things that's bounding you. So make sure you open your heart. Let go and look up to the sky and say, you know what, I have my blessings here, right? Alright, because guess what? The King of Wands is coming. See? There it is again. The King of Wands. They already decided you. They see this, there's just this beautiful person. Seven of Cups is there too. They, they already made their choice with you. <laughs> Seven of Cups is here. They already chose you. Or your heart chose them and you don't want to let, let them in, but... They're going to win you over. Sorry, Scorpio. Somebody's going to win you. <laughs> so you might, might need to be prepared for that. So this is something that's going to come really a sh really quick in. And, but it's going then it's going to slow down. Because this person's want, male or female is going to want to slow it down. So this can be successful with you. Because if they go too fast, they know it won't work with you. Okay, Scorpio. So send me your love and light. Hope you like your reading. Let me know in the comments. And come, click click. Click like and subscribe. Can't get it out. Click like and subscribe and let me know how you're doing and what you thought of the reading. If this resonated for you, okay? I'll see you next time. Love you, Scorpio. Bye-bye. And happy birthday to everybody. Bye-bye.